Hi everybody, it's Nico and Lizzie, and it's Friday. Welcome back to Miss Lizzie's Powwow Story Time. Hope you're doing well this morning. Um, today we're going to continue in the Good Guys 5 Minute Storybook. And one of the things I really like about these types of books is when all these different artists and um, authors are in the same book, it's just really fun to see all the different types of art that you get to see. And it's so different, which is just so cool. One of my favorite things about these types of books. So uh, today we are gonna continue with our good guy superhero theme and we're gonna jump right in. Today's story is Quiet Wyatt, Super Shy or Superhero. Wyatt liked quiet and being quiet worked for Wyatt. He was a spectacular tree in the school play. He was a model visitor at the Dinosaur Museum. He was a total star at ninja camp. Wyatt, most stealthy ninja. Wyatt's world was perfectly quiet until his class went on a field trip and he was paired with Noreen. Noreen was anything but quiet. I'm the queen of nature, said Noreen. Let's do this field trip, buddy. Wyatt gulped, Ooh. quietly, of course. Fishing is my specialty, said Noreen. This is how to cast a line. Wyatt gaped, quietly, of course. I was born for boating, said Noreen. This is how to paddle a canoe. Splash. Wyatt dripped, quietly, of course. Wow, said Noreen. I'm so good at noticing the details, it's scary. It was a very busy field trip. There was bird watching. Binoculars are for beginners, Wyatt. There was hiking. This is what you call trailblazing, Wyatt. Lake, hiking trail, and poison ivy. Not to be confused with poison ivy from Gotham City. There was zip lining. Don't look down, Wyatt. Somebody got extra quiet. When it was time to return to the bus, Noreen had lots to say. Nature's not all I'm good at. There's math and cartwheels and, oops, I almost forgot. I have the gift of song. La, 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 la. Caution, loose rocks. Warning, loud noise may trigger rock slide. La, 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 la. One thing was clear. For the first time in the history of Wyatt, he could not stay quiet. Noreen rocks. Thanks, said Noreen. Glad you think so. Then, uh-oh, said Noreen. Whoosh, loop-de-loo. Scoop. Everyone was wowed. Cool. Especially Noreen. I'm an excellent ninja, said Wyatt. Good to know, field trip buddy, said Noreen. The bus headed back to school. Hey, Mr. Driver, said Noreen. I know a shortcut. Wyatt didn't know what to stay, say, so he stayed quiet. But from time to time, Wyatt wasn't so quiet. See? Oh, said Noreen. Wyatt smiled. Quietly, of course. He still liked quiet. He 
He also liked having a friend. So, Wyatt started off as a shy boy and he found his voice. It's really important for us, if we know better, to stand up for what we know, um, know. And if we think that someone is doing something that's going to hurt them or hurt someone around them, it's good to step up. So let's go back and we'll talk about some things here. So Noreen thinks she is a excellent fisher but she caught him in the rope and he knows how to cast a line. Then on the boat, she thinks she was made for boating. And here you can see, he's the only one who knows how to paddle. Over here, she thinks she's noticing the details, but she's missing a whole lot of action by not turning around. And he sees all of this, but he hasn't found his voice yet, so he's not able to tell Noreen. He's scared over here, not finding his voice quite yet. Quietly following her around, which is no problem, except for when he's scared or they're in trouble. So it finally takes the rock slide for Wyatt to dig deep down inside and find his voice in order to save his field trip buddy and now his new friend. Thanks for joining me today, guys. See you next time on Miss Lizzie's Powwow Story Time.